Hydrometer is a device which is used to measure density of liquid and it is based on the principle of flotation. Now I want to present two different types of hydrometer and what are the basic differences between them we will uh, we'll see a little clearly. Look at these two types of hydrometer. One is called constant weight hydrometer. This is the construction. This is another one. This is constant immersion hydrometer. And constant weight hydrometer, there is a stem which opens into a white cylinder. And this white cylinder is called ball, glass ball. Stem, glass ball. Glass ball contains this lead salts. And here also a stem and glass ball, glass ball contains lead salts. But here is only one marking and there is a pan at the top. Here it is calibrated with the value of density and there is no pan at the top. Constant weight hydrometer, constant immersion hydrometer. How do we use this? Constant weight hydrometer is very common nowadays, widely used all over the world. In laboratory, if you have given certain liquid, then you will use constant weight hydrometer this way. We will put the hydrometer into the liquid it goes down into the liquid with its weight and when it stops going down we have to release our hand when we release our hand it remains vertical and certain value of density is found to be coinciding with the level of liquid and this is the value of density of that liquid we directly read out the density of the liquid it's very easy we have to just find out the value of density at which the level of the liquid is coinciding. This way we can measure density. But in this second case, first this constant immersion hydrometer is placed in distilled water and we put standard masses on its pan to immerse it up to the marking in distilled water. Now, how much standard mass is used? That is noted down. Let's say it is 5 gram. And again, we'll take it out and we'll put into the into that liquid of which we have to measure density. At this time also, we'll put some standard masses on the pan. We'll put standard masses on the pan and we'll immerse this constant immersion hydrometer up to the marking in that given liquid. And later, with the help of these standard masses, which are used to immerse it up to the marking in pure water and immerse it up to the marking in the given liquid, with the help of this weight, later we'll calculate this uh, density of the given liquid. It's a, a little uh, different than this one. So it's a little, little difficult to measure the density of the given liquid. It's easier to measure the density of the given liquid. Okay, now what are the basic differences between these two? Point wise, we can say this way, its weight remains same while measuring the density of different liquid. It means if you have given oil, uh, water and so, salt solution, sugar solution, you are measuring density of those liquid, then you put this hydrometer into those liquid, it floats, but its weight remains the same. Weight doesn't change. That's why it is called constant weight hydrometer. But in this case, if you have given different liquid, first you have to put it into distilled water and you have to use certain standard masses to immerse it up to the marking. And again, while using in another liquid, you will put another standard mass to immerse it up to the marking. And another liquid, you will put another uh, standard mass in this way. In this way, actually, the weight of hydrometer, let's say previously it was 25 gram, by using this standard masses, its weight differs. While measuring, its weight changes while measuring density of different liquid. But its weight remains same while measuring density of different liquid. Next point. It immerses to different depth while measuring density of different liquid. Let's say when it is immersed, I need to say it is placed in water while measuring the density of water. Let's say it immerses to this much level. Then we will uh, we'll see this point. If it is 1000 kg per meter cube, then this is the density of 
the water. And if we are using it to measure the density of another liquid and if it emerges to this depth, then we will directly read out its density 900 kg per meter cube. In this way, actually, in different liquid it emerges to different depth. But in case of constant emotion hydrometer, just now I told you that whether we are taking density of oil or water or uh, salt solution, we have to immerse this hydrometer up to the same marking. That's why it emerges to the same depth while measuring the density of different liquid. Its stem is marked with different value of density. Look at this. Constant weight hydrometer, stem is marked with different value of density, but there is only one marking on its stem. In case of constant emotion hydrometer, there is only one marking. Another difference in construction is it does not have pan at the top of the stem, constant weight hydrometer, but it has a pan at the top of the stem to put the standard mass. These are some basic differences between constant weight hydrometer and constant immersion hydrometer. Nowadays, constant immersion hydrometer is very old, now not in use, but constant weight hydrometer is used in the laboratory.